Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Vale Neil Bonade's tributes have rolled out on social media this morning following the news that Australian arts philanthropist Neil Bonade's has tragically died in a boating accident while holidaying in Tahiti on the super yacht, Own World, with his wife Diane. Bonade's was 77. It is understood that Bonade's was in a small tender when it flipped. The Adelaide-born, Mosman-based Bonade's was a former television executive, best known for founding, and running, Southern Star Production House, which later became in Shine, Australia. It brought shows as Blue Healers, Water Rats, McLeod's Daughters, Bananas in Pyjamas and Big Brother to Australian screens, shaping our watching culture. After a career shaped by on-screen successes, he went on to become chair of the Ardent Leisure Group, 2003-2016. Val Naves retired in 2016 in the aftermath of the Gold Coast Dreamworld theme park tragedy, when four people died when a ride malfunctioned. It had been owned by the group. Tragedy has often surrounded Val Naves. A polio survivor, in 2002, 20 years ago, he cheated death when a powerboat ploughed into his runabout on the Gold Coast. He also lost his daughter Alexandria in 2019 to a long illness. But for the arts, Val Naves was a beacon for hope. A man with endless generosity and passion for the arts. As tributes have described today, Story Factory, founder and director Kath Keenan paid tribute, adding, Neil really loved the arts, and was a really passionate supporter of lots of different art forms, he was really passionate about Indigenous art in particular and helping young Indigenous people flourish and to give them opportunities. AGSA director Anna Devenport describing his visionary leadership while on the gallery's board, adding that he championed access to art for all. He was a board member of the Art Gallery of Armed Forces Europe, 2013-2019. TV mogul turned arts philanthropist in a curious twist, it was that other boating accident in 2002 that set Bal Naves on the path of philanthropy. After weeks on life support and over 40 bones broken, Val Naves reassessed what was important to him. He described in a 2011 interview, The Advertiser, How many more houses do I need? Do I want the jet plane? Do I want another yacht? Not really. There comes a time when those things stop meaning so much to you. The Val Naves Foundation was formed in 2006. Val Naves believed that the foundation was about a new breed of Australian philanthropists. Describing on their website, philanthropy shouldn't be hidden in a cupboard or kept under the table, it needs to be much more visible. I've taken the view, as have others like me, that we're so far behind the rest of the OECD countries, particularly the UK and the US, per capita, that we've got to raise the profile and put the example out there. Now, more than 15 years later, the foundation has committed in excess of $40 million towards this goal, with some $20 million of that going towards the arts. According to the website, the foundation disperses over $3 million annually. Among the recipients have been Sydney's Ensemble and Bevois Street Theatres, in particular Bevois Theatres Indigenous Scholarship Program. The Art Gallery of NSW. Art Gallery of South Australia among which is the funding of Adelaide Biennale to open next week. Adelaide Festival. Bangara Dance Theatre. Sydney Dance Company, Story Factory, a not-for-profit writing centre for young people based in Redfern and Parramatta, Nida, Australia Museum, called all public art projects, Tarawara Museum of Art, National Gallery of Australia, Museum of Contemporary Art, and the Biennale of Sydney, which is due to open next week. Many have further recognised the role Bal Naves and the Foundation played in keeping many arts organisations buoyed during the COVID pandemic. The Foundation also funds Indigenous and health research through Sydney's St Vincent's Hospital, the Black Dog Institute and the University of NSW's Indigenous Law Centre. Bal Naves did not just fund the arts, but was a strong voice to advocate for its interests. In 2017 Balnaves pulled support from Australia's participation at the Venice Biennale after changes announced by the Australia Council for the Arts.
Other philanthropic passions Barnaves was generous with his business knowledge, not only in the arts but across the university and medical sectors. He was Chancellor of Charles Darwin University, 2016 to 2018, a former director and trustee member of Bond University, receiving an honorary doctorate of the Bond University in 2009, a former member of the Advisory Council and Dean's Circle at the University of New South Wales Faculty of Medicine, and in 2010 received an honorary doctorate of the University NSW. At the time of his death, Balnaves was a director of the Sydney Orthopaedic Research Institute, a 